Hello, my name is Ebony Jacobs. I am an EMTB and I've been with Superior for almost a year. The reason why um, I wanted to be an EMT um, on an ambulance with Superior is because I wanted to be the first responder and the first one on scene to be with just my partner in medical control and be able to treat the patients versus being in a hospital or ER and you're helping out. My favorite part of the job is patient care. I love being able to talk to patients and work with them and actually get to treat them in any way how. Um, we do, we do get a lot of sight patients and I find that most interesting because it's related to my platform as far as mental health care and be able to see that in that space and work with families and be able to communicate with the patients. I think that's a big reason why I keep pushing for is mental health to seek help and actually just be an advocate for it. I became a contestant in the Miss Illinois U.S. pageant. I actually submitted my application pretty late. I didn't think I was going to get accepted, but I got accepted. Um, I did a pageant in previous before undergrad. I am the title holder for Miss um, Gold 2016. And I had such a great time with that pageant as well. It was the Miss Black and Gold pageant. And I thought, why not give it another shot? It's a scholarship pageant, so it can help me out with school. And I feel like it will open up more doors and opportunities and careers for me in the future. This is my second big pageant. So I haven't been doing pageants for very long, but I always wanted to get into pageants. When I was younger, my mom couldn't really afford to get me into those type of pageants because you know, she was working a lot and I would go to school. And of course, my career goal is to be a PA, so I didn't really have time for it. But I think it's a great platform for young women and little girls to build confidence, uh, communication skills, and other career opportunities for them. My title for the Miss Illinois USA pageant is Jewel of Chicago. A lot of the other titles was Tookin, uh, Chicago, Greater Chicago, Cook County, a lot of interesting titles. And I wanted to be different with my title. I wanted to make sure I bring attention to Chicago because I'm from Chicago, but something special, that unique, that reminds me of myself. And I chose the title Jewel of Chicago because I feel like I'm in the center of Chicago, I'm something special, a diamond in a rough, and I hope to be able to you know, broadcast that or show that on stage. Being an EMT and working on the pageant do tie together pretty well. You have to be able to handle a lot of stress in a short amount of time and be able to think on your feet as well. As well as like questions like this, interview questions, and as well, um, be able to balance your schedule. That goes in well. That goes in with school as well. Pageant life, EMT, and school. I have to balance everything out. So being on that stage, you might see me walk that stage like all oh, lovely and, and happy, but it's a lot to balance out um, behind the scenes. And that's the same thing as far as being an EMT. When I have my patient in the back of the ambulance with me, and then when I bring them into the ER, everything seems all good, and it is all good. But it was a lot of work to balance out when I'm in the back of that um, ambulance. That patient. I love working with children. Um, in undergrad, I did a lot of community service and volunteer work with little kids. I actually have a sponsorship for this pageant. It's a daycare, and I remember going to the daycare and I was talking to the owner, and all the little kids ran up to me, the little boys and girls, like "Hi, Queen! Hi, Queen!" and it was so adorable. I really appreciate um, working with kids, and I feel like they are the future. So we have to nurture them and guide them in the right place. I was in a car with my mom and we saw Superior logo and she was like, why don't you apply to Superior? And I was like, yeah, why not? And then I just remember the ambulance being so pretty and I was like, I want to be on that ambulance and I want to, you know, help out with the community as well. So I thought that would be a good choice. So it would be great if I win uh, Miss Illinois USA. I'll be doing interviews, I'll be doing appearances and doing a lot of things to move forward my platform. I'll be able to still go to school and I'll still be able to pursue my career as a PA, but it'll be a year long title holding, um, traveling around Illinois and prepping myself for, prep myself and my team for Miss Illinois USA pageant and Miss USA. So are you going to wear the crown from now on when you're driving <laughs> around? I, I would like to. That would be fun. Just everybody come up to me. Hi. It's so cute to see like people experiences and um, people like point at me as I walk down when I go talk to my sponsorships. I'm walking down the city of Chicago. People's looking like, oh, what is she doing? Like, is it her birthday? I get that question a lot. Like, is it your birthday? I'm like, no, I'm in a pageant. And I love seeing uh, people experience, not even experience, but their facial expressions when I tell them, oh, I'm in the Miss Illinois USA pageant. They're like, whoa, okay. Like, yeah, um, I did pageants before and I'm pursuing PA. Um, 
tell them what PA is, of course, and they just seem really interested, and I, I get a lot of encouraging words, and you know, a lot of good luck, and that makes me feel good. I want to say thank you, actually, to Superior Bliss. They are sponsoring me for the pageant, so woohoo! That I think that goes really good with um, my platform and me being an EMT, so they're, they're sponsoring me. I will not forget about Superior, because I'm definitely coming back from my job, and I'll still be here.